Henry Louis Aaron, nicknamed Hammer or Ham Aaron Hank, February 5, 1934 to January 22, 2021, was an American professional baseball right fielder who played in Major League Baseball from 1954 to 1976 for 23 seasons. He spent 21 seasons in the National League with the Milwaukee-Atlanta Braves and two seasons in the American League with the Milwaukee Brewers. Aaron is regarded as one of the best players of all time in baseball. The long-standing Major League Baseball record set by Babe Ruth shattered his 755 career home runs and stood as the best for 33 years. Aaron also holds many other Major League Baseball batting records. From 1955 through 1973, he hit 24 or more home runs per year and is one of only two players to hit 30 or more home runs at least 15 times in a season. In 1999, on its 100 Greatest Baseball Players list, the Sporting News ranked Aaron 5th. In 1982, in his first year of eligibility, he was inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame. In Mobile, Alabama, Aaron was born to Herbert Aaron Sr. and Estella Pritchett Aaron. He had seven siblings, including Tommy Aaron, who had played with him in Major League Baseball. Prior to beginning his Major League career, he played briefly in the Negro American League and in Minor League Baseball. He and his brother held the record for most career 768 home runs by a pair of siblings by the time Aaron retired. They were also the first siblings to play as teammates in a league championship series. Although he was born in the down the bay area of Mobile, he spent much of his youth in Talmanville. Aaron grew up in a family that was poor. Baseball equipment could not be afforded by his family, so he played by smashing bottle caps with sticks. From the materials he found on the streets, he would make his own bats and balls. His boyhood hero was Jackie Robinson, the baseball star. As a freshman and a sophomore, Aaron attended Central High School. They had no organized baseball like other high schools, so he played outfield and third base for the Mobile Black Bears, a semi-pro team. Aaron was a member of the Boy Scouts. Aaron batted cross-handed, he established himself as a power hitter, as a right-handed hitter, with his left hand above his right. As a result, Aaron had his first tryout with a major league baseball franchise, the Brooklyn Dodgers, in 1949, at the age of 15, but he did not make the roster. After this, he went back to school to complete his secondary education. Aaron returned to school, attending the Josephine Allen Institute, a private high school in Alabama. In Mobile, Alabama, he also attended Central High School. Aaron first joined the Negro Southern League's Pritchard Athletics during his junior year, followed by the Mobile Black Bears, an independent Negro League team. Aaron paid $3 per game while at the Bears, $99 in today's money which was a dollar more than he did while at the Athletics. Aaron played the vast majority of his right field Major League Baseball games, while he appeared in many other positions in the infield and outfield. He was mainly a designated hitter in his last two seasons. Aaron was an All-Star for 20 seasons and an All-Star for one season, and he holds the record for the most All-Star selections, 25, sharing the record with Willie Mays and Stan Musial for most All-Star games played, 24. He was a three-time recipient of the Gold Glove, and in 1957, when the Milwaukee Braves won the World Series, he won the National League Most Valuable Player MVP, award. For the most career runs batted in, 2,297, extra base hits, 1,477, and total bases, Aaron holds the Major League Baseball records for, 6,856. Aaron's career hits are also in the top five. 3,771, and runs, 2,174. He is one of only four players to have 150 or more hits in at least 17 seasons. In home runs, 755, and at-bats, 12,364, Aaron is in second place and in third place in games played, 3,298. Aaron owns several of the game's primary career power hitting records at the time of his retirement. Baseball scout Ed Scott signed Aaron on behalf of the Indianapolis Clowns of the Negro American League to a contract on November 20, 1951, where he played for three months. He began playing as a 6-foot, 180-pound shortstop and earned $200 a month. 
Aaron got two offers from Major League Baseball teams via Telegram as a result of his excellent game with the Indianapolis Clowns, one from the New York Giants and the other from the Boston Braves. Aaron recalled years later, I had the Giants contract in my hand. But the Braves gave an extra $50 a month. That's the only thing that stopped Willie Mays and me $50 from becoming teammates. He encountered racism while being with the Clowns team. Aaron remembered when we had breakfast while waiting for the rain to end, and I can still imagine sitting with the clowns in a restaurant behind Griffith Stadium and watching them smash all the plates in the kitchen after we finished eating. His team was in Washington, D.C. What a horrifying sound. The irony of it struck me even as a child, here we were in the capital, in the land of liberty and equality, and they had to smash the plates that had reached the forks that were in black men's mouths. If those plates had been eaten off by dogs, they would have cleaned them. In 26 official Negro League games, with 5 home runs, 33 runs batted in, 41 hits, and 9 stolen bases, the House Sports Bureau credits Aaron with a .366 batting average. The Braves bought $10,000 from the Clowns for Aaron's contract, which general manager John Quinn thought was a steal, as he said he believed Aaron was a $100,000 asset. Aaron signed with Braves scout Dewey Griggs on June 12, 1952. He picked up the nickname Pork Chops during this period because it was the only thing I knew to order off the menu a teammate later said, the man ate pork chops three meals a day, two for breakfast. Aaron was assigned by the Braves to the Eau Claire Bears, the Northern League Class C farm team of the Braves. For Aaron, the 1952 season proved to be quite beneficial. Playing in the infield, Aaron continued to improve as a ball player and made the all-star team of the Northern League. He broke his habit of cross-handed hitting and followed the traditional technique for hitting. The Braves promoted him to the Jacksonville Braves, their South Atlantic League Class A affiliate, in 1953. Helped by the success of Aaron, the Braves won that year's league championship. In runs, 115, hits, 208, doubles, 36, runs batted in, 125, total bases, 338, and batting average, Aaron led the league in, .362. He won the Most Valuable Player Award of the league, and had such a dominant year that one sports writer was prompted to say, Henry Aaron led the league in everything except hotel accommodations. Aaron's tenure with the Braves did not come without issues. In the league, he was one of the first African Americans to participate. In parts of the United States, especially the southeastern portion of the nation, the 1950s were a time of racial segregation. Due to Jim Crow rules, he was frequently split from his team while Aaron moved around Jacksonville, Florida, and the surrounding areas. The team was responsible for arranging accommodation and meals for its players in most cases, but Aaron also had to make his own plans. Aaron met his future wife, Barbara Lucas, the same year. Lucas planned to attend the Braves game the night they met. In the game, Aaron singled, doubled, and hit a home run. Aaron and Lucas got married on October 6. Aaron's wife noted in 1958 that he preferred to sit and watch westerns during the offseason. He enjoyed cooking and fishing as well. In Puerto Rico, Aaron spent the winter of 1953 playing. The team's manager, Mickey Owen, helped Aaron with his batting stance. Until then, Aaron had hit most of the left field or center field pitches, but Aaron was able to hit the ball more accurately all over the field after training with Owen. Owen also helped Aaron transition from second base to the outfield during his stay in Puerto Rico. Aaron also permitted the time he spent in Puerto Rico to avoid being drafted into military service. While the Korean War was over, there were still individuals being drafted. The Braves were able to talk to the draft board, arguing that the next season, Aaron could be the player to represent the Southern Association with the Atlanta Crackers. It seems that the board was convinced, as Aaron was not drafted. Aaron hit his 537th home run on July 31, 1969, passing the total of Mickey Mantle. After Willie Mays and Babe Ruth, Aaron moved into third place on the career home run list. Aaron again finished third in the MVP voting at the end of the 1969 season. Aaron hit two more career milestones in 1970. Aaron collected his 3,000th hit on May 17, 
In a match against the Cincinnati Reds, the team he appeared in his first major league match against. With 30 or more home runs in the National League, Aaron set the record for most seasons. When he smashed Babe Ruth's career home run record in 1974, Aaron was wearing a Braves jersey. Aaron himself downplayed the chase to surpass Babe Ruth, while as he closed in on the 714 career home runs mark, baseball fans and the national media became increasingly excited. During the summer of 1973, Aaron received thousands of letters per week, including hate mail. The Braves ended up hiring a secretary to help him sort it out. During the 1973 to 1974 offseason, he was the target of death threats and a wide variety of hate mail from people who didn't want to see Aaron break Ruth's home run mark. The threats spread to those who had secretly written an obituary while planning the massive media coverage of the home run record, fearful that Aaron would be killed. Aaron received a plaque from the U.S. Postal Service at the end of the 1973 season for receiving more mail, 930,000 pieces, than any person except politicians. In reaction to the bigotry, Aaron received an outpouring of public support. On his first swing of the season, Reds pitcher Jack Billingham played two out of three, tying the record of Babe Ruth, April 4, 1974, in his very first at-bat, but did not hit another home run in the series. There is still the Atlanta Fulton County Stadium fence that the historic home run was hit over that was the 715th career home run. At the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York, Hank Aaron's Hall of Fame plaque. Aaron rejoined the Braves as an executive after the 1976 season. He was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame on August 1, 1982, having received votes on 97.8% of the ballots, second only to Ty Cobb, who received votes in the inaugural 1936 Hall of Fame election on 98.2% of the vote. Aaron was then named the Braves' vice president and player development director. This made him one of the first upper-level leadership minorities in Major League Baseball. Aaron became senior vice president and assistant to the Braves' president in December 1980. He was Turner Broadcasting Systems Executive Vice President of Community Affairs, a member of the Board of Directors of the Corporation and the Vice President of Business Growth for the Airport Network. Major League Baseball announced the selling of the Atlanta Braves on January 21, 2007. In that announcement, Baseball Commissioner Bud Selig also revealed that Aaron would play a major role in the management of the Braves, developing initiatives that would facilitate the introduction of minorities into baseball through Major League Baseball. The Hank Aaron Rookie League program was created by Aaron. In 1990, Aaron's autobiography, I Had a Hammer, was published. A play on his nickname, The Hammer or Ham Aaron Hank is the title of the novel and the title of the folk song If I Had a Hammer Aaron owned South Atlanta's Hank Aaron BMW in Union City, Georgia where every car sold contained an autographed baseball. As part of the Hank Aaron Automotive Company, Aaron also owned Mini, Land Rover, Toyota, Hyundai, and Honda dealerships throughout Georgia. In 2007, Aaron sold all but the Toyota dealership in McDonough. In addition, Aaron owned a chain of 30 restaurants all over the country. San Francisco Giants slugger Barry Bonds passed Babe Ruth during the 2006 season, and rose to second place on the all-time home run list, attracting rising media attention as he drew nearer to the record of Aaron. Aaron and Bonds made a television commercial that aired during Super Bowl XLI, shortly before the start of the 2007 baseball season, in which Aaron jokingly tried to convince Bonds to retire before breaking the record, playing off the intense interest in their perceived rivalry. Aaron made it clear that baseball doesn't mean breaking records, it's about doing your best. On August 7, 2007, Aaron made a surprise appearance on the Jumbotron video screen at Atan Tea Park in San Francisco to congratulate Bonds on his accomplishment. I would like to give my congratulations to Barry Bonds on being the home run leader of baseball. In 1953, Aaron's first marriage was to Barbara Lucas. Their children were five, Gary, Laurie, Dorinda, Gay, and Hank Jr. In 1971, he divorced Barbara and, on November 13, 1973, married Billy Suber Williams. He had a single child, Cece, with his second wife. Aaron, having converted with his family in 1959, was Catholic. After the birth of their first child, whom they baptized immediately, 
he and his wife first became interested in the belief. Later, a relationship with a Catholic priest helped contribute to the conversion of Hank and his wife. Aaron was known to have sometimes read the book The Imitation of Christ of the 15th Century, which he kept in his locker. On January 22, 2021, two weeks shy of his 87th birthday, in Atlanta, Aaron died in his sleep. The following are some of the many distinctions and honors that Aaron earned. In 1982, during his first year of eligibility, Aaron was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. The Atlanta Braves retired Hank Aaron's number 44 in 1977. The Milwaukee Brewers retired Hank Aaron's number 44 in 1976. In 1976, Aaron received the Spingarn Medal from the NAACP. In 1977, Aaron won the Golden Plate Award from the American Academy of Achievement. For his time spent with the Eau Claire Wolves, Milwaukee Braves, and Milwaukee Brewers, Aaron was inducted into the Wisconsin Athletic Hall of Fame in 1988. To celebrate the 25th anniversary of Aaron surpassing Babe Ruth's career home run record of 714 home runs and to honor Aaron's contributions to baseball, Major League Baseball established the Hank Aaron Award in 1999. The prize is given annually to the most productive baseball hitters voted in each respective league. Aaron was named to the Major League Baseball All-Century Team by baseball fans the same year. Aaron was listed on his list of 100 Greatest African Americans in 2002 by scholar Molify Kitasanti. When Atlanta City converted the Centennial Olympic Stadium into a new baseball stadium, many locals hoped the stadium would be named after Aaron. A portion of Capitol Avenue running past the stadium was renamed Hank Aaron Drive when the stadium was later called Turner Field, after Atlanta Braves owner Ted Turner. The street number of the stadium is 755, after Aaron's total number of home runs, for Turner Field's replacement, Truist Park, the 755 street number was kept. A new baseball complex for the AA Mobile Bay Bears, built in Aaron's hometown of Mobile, Alabama, was named Hank Aaron Stadium in April 1997. On January 8, 2001, President Bill Clinton presented the Presidential Citizens Award to Aaron. In June 2002, he received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian award in the country, from President George W. Bush. The University of Princeton awarded Aaron an Honorary Doctor of Humanities degree. Please take the time to like this channel and subscribe to it. Please take the time to visit our online store in the description section. Thank you for watching.